Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, I want to thank all of you so much for joining me. Anyhow, so as you can see in the title, we're having an icon shave. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what I'm going to be using. This is actually the second time I've done this video, so I have used these products once already. And, um... But because of technical difficulties, I got rid of the video. Anyways, so we're doing it again. Anyways, the razor is my Icon V2 Open Comb Deluxe Double Edge Safety Razor from Icon Shaving. Um, says Icon across the bottom here. It's got a little um, thing here where it says Icon. And that has actually has the skull for the O. The icon has in their logo. The blade is a Persona Red on its third and final use. Um, like I said, it's a DLC coated head. The B2 stands for Bulldog 2. The B1 is not the DLC coating and it is closed comb. Which, uh, from what I understand, the closed comb is a bit more aggressive than this one. Anyways, um, I think I said the handle is the OSS handle. You also have the option to go ahead and change it to the matte finish bulldog handle if you choose to. I actually went ahead and completely on the last shave I did where I used this razor, razor, I actually submerged my hand, razor and all, under the water and uh, pulled it out. And I had absolutely no issues with slipping because of... Um, because of uh, the knurling on it. The brush, you've probably seen in my last video, if you, um, the unboxing, shout outs, and some new stuff, you probably saw this, and it is this. If you didn't see the video, this is a Near Mint BB24 Best Badger made by Rooney. It was made this razor, these razors, this is a Catalan Butterscotch handle. And it actually has a sticker that says Brooks Brothers right here. Um, I debated on putting a, a little coat of clear fingernail polish over, but I really don't want to put fingernail polish on my brush. Even if it is clear, I just a little, a little bit too OCD for that. Um, so the sticker over time may come off, but if it does, hey, I'm not getting rid of it, and it's going to my son when I'm gone. I know what it is. He'll know what it is. Um, if somebody don't believe me or him, then, yeah, heck with them. Anyways, the soap, I won on Sledhead's 500 subscriber giveaway, and it is this one. It is the WSP Formula T Sandalwood. The scent, it's sandalwood. It's a bit earthy, but not too earthy. Um, not quite cologne -y, but it's kind of in the mid, mid range between those two. And just a nice, pleasant sandalwood scent. It is a firmer soap. You do got to press relatively hard to go ahead and dent it. Not too much, but you know, you got to put a little bit of effort into it, unlike, say, a razor rock soap. And uh, it goes for, when I looked on the website, WSP $18.99. Um, like I said, it's, I think I said, it's their tallow and shea butter formula, um, which the rustic is a vegan formula. And, um, it goes for longer curing time, so actually more water comes out of it than what you get in the rustic. So it's 4.4, less than 4.5 ounces on the rustic. Um, this, I believe, yeah, 4.77 ounces on the Formula T. It's called the Formula T because kind of pays homage to the Ford Model T. Um, oh, yeah, went ahead, shaved by hand. Less than 20 bucks for two of them. Cotton, nice and soft. Couldn't get a black sheep shaving towel, so my girlfriend ended up getting me a two-pack of these. And it's shaved by hand over on Etsy. I will put links to these items in the um, descriptions. 
are down in the uh, description. I went ahead and I scooped some of the soap out with my handy dandy, let me see if I can find it, Mickey Mouse spoon. That was my son's first real spoon. The spoon part was a little bit too big for him to get in his mouth without spilling it all over himself. So my girlfriend said, well, I'll just go ahead and stick it in the dryer. I said, no, let me use it for shaving. And she said, okay, here. And I've got, I scooped some out here into my timeless lather bowl. I went ahead, let some hot water set on it to kind of bloom. I don't like blooming in the tub, but I figure what the heck, I'll go ahead and bloom in that. I do have some shout outs, but they will be in between the shave and the um, post shave part. Go ahead and re this knot some. Um, it's not the biggest knot I've got. Oh, let's see. Let's see if you can hear that. It does hold a decent amount of water. Not too much, but enough. So, we'll start lathering up. And to save a little bit of time, I'll go ahead. I'll cut away. And I'll come back. Um when I'm done lathering. I'd say the scent strength on this soap is medium. A little more, a little less, depending on your olfactory senses or scents. Senses, is that senses or scents? I don't know, but your olfactory will tell you in its opinion, whether it's medium or more and my my olfactory tells me it's a little less than medium um pardon me guys while i scratch my armpit like an ape <laughs> anyways so let's go in with the face i got about a week's growth um we've been very busy around here and i just quite frankly haven't felt up to shaving so it'll be a nice nice test for the icon Actually, I shaved the day after that last video was posted where I did the, un, well, the last video where I did the unboxing of the icon stuff. So whatever, you know, time frame between that video and this video is. Yeah, it whipped up into a nice creamy lather. Um, this brush is not a good face lather. Oops, feel lather going all over the place. This brush is not a good face lather. I have no experience with Rooney's, so I don't know if they're made to just do painting, painting motions or what. Of course, with it being vintage, it didn't come with the instruction manual that I'm sure that all Rooney's come with. Um, because they are high-end brush, but painting it on seems to be doing good. Dip in for a little bit more leather. I know that probably many, if not all of these I are watching, knows about the fundraiser that Chris Bailey and Tim Delaney, the Scented Soldier Shaves, had. The GoFundMe fundraiser for SoCal Shaves, Manny. And, um... If you entered, you either caught that video on a replay or you ended up 
actually watching it. I donated and I didn't win anything, but I did also not only donate, you know, to the GoFundMe, but I also donated a couple of items. And, um, Rich Hansen ended up winning the prize that I donated and I'll go ahead and I'll show that so Rich if you see this video you'll be able to go ahead and get a look at what you get before you get it so to speak um, with the grain the first shave I had was really nice with this one and look at that look at that guys it's just blowing absolutely blowing through the growth very very nice very nice yeah somebody that I mentioned in my last video in a shout out um, DE razor shaving dude you got some good energy man um I like yourself. Uh, you you got some night. You 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 had me giggling. Let's just say. Decent audio feedback. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this head completely covers the. Um, blade so you have no exposed blade tabs which some people prefer apparently the gentleman I forget his name that makes this razor Bill that proper safety razors do that and I've seen a number of people on the shave groups make it very clear that they only buy razors that um has the ends covered that's why sometimes you see them say, I won't buy vintage just for that reason right there. Anyways, yeah, I took it down. Um, I'm not sure what grade stainless this is made out of. I'm not sure what the overall length of the handle is. I'm not quite sure of the blade gap I'm pretty sure though that did say upper medium or mid, mid, mid medium aggression and it's smooth I don't know if it's the DLC coating that's making it that such or not but yeah it's it's smooth I like it The shape by hand towel ain't doing so bad. Ain't doing too bad right now. For so far. But this brush. It's a much better. Bull lather. It's much better to lather it with a bowl. At least I'm finding. 
that opinion may change. Um, bowl lather and doing painting motions, which is okay. And then, um, then, uh, loading off a puck, which if that's the case. I don't care. I got a hair or something. Like one of my girlfriend's stray hairs got, you know, over by here and somehow got in my darn soap. I don't know. We'll just consider it an uber long whisker. So, and I just got some soap up my nostril. But uh, this formula tea, it did lather up rather quickly. Yeah, not bad. As far as the thickness of the lather on my face. I'm not worried about looking like Kris Kringle. So, here we go. Cross the growth with the icon. Very nice. Mm. But yeah, congratulations to all the winners of that raffle. I mean, and there was some nice prizes. Chris Bailey, or C C B D, as Tim Delaney calls them. Um, yeah, Christopher David Bailey, Tim Delaney calls them CBD instead of CDB. So, they got good chemistry when they're doing a live together. Real good chemistry. But, I mean, artisans donated stuff. People donated stuff. Um... I mean, some nice stuff, too. Chris Bailey donated his, um, Ross RS-18. With the original packaging. Which... I saw him use it in a couple of videos. Oh my God, that razor sang. All right, I'm gonna rinse off and I'm gonna show you guys what Rich won. Before I send it to him, I still gotta clean him up. And um, where are they? One moment, guys. Anyways, guys, the first thing you want is a vintage gym razor. And this is, I'm not sure what year it was made. But it's a um, gem featherweight. As you can see, the handle's in pretty good shape. I have to clean it up. It might, ha it might have some, you know, a little bit of gunk on it. I don't know. But the head, as you can see, top of the head's nice and clean. The inside of the head's great. The underside, really nice. Um... It's a decent little razor. It's light, so you know, you gotta be conscious conscious of that when you use it. And the other is this. 
the PAA Green Ray brush. I've only used this one a few times. Um, I plan on getting another one, but I figured it'd be a good little one to donate. Anyways, so that's 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 what Rich wants. Like I said, I'll get some blades and throw in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, time for fast food. re the face. Of course, definitely paint on. Well, I rinse that brush out, the whatever that hair is that's attached to it will go out too. Too. I'm making a mess of myself trying to get that dang hair. But the soap, it's performing wonderfully. So is the razor, the blade. Close to an angle. Treasure does not feel threatening in any way. It's not rough. It's just a smooth little all around shaver. It's not uncomfortable to go up under the nose either with it. Some video clips of me uh don't know if I mentioned it working my white cane. some pictures off the guy dogs for the blind so that step's done all right so let's go ahead and let's wipe out here just enough so I can you know not perfect but pretty good a little bit right down there. It's got decent residual slickness on this soap, by the way, guys. I really like it. Really, really good residual slickness. Little spot there. I hope you all are well and safe. 
And uh, I'm really digging the interaction with you guys um, in the comment section. I really, really am. I'm having an absolute blast. Um, I really, really, I just can't thank you guys enough to think that you all would sit there and you don't want to spend 20 minutes or more or at least spend top part of that time watching a blind guy shave. Anyways, I'll be back for the album. Now, if I would have went ahead and posted the last video, you guys would have heard my Old Spice album stick meeting a horrible death. I knocked it off my post shave shelf up above and it hit the bathroom floor and it absolutely exploded. But the same person that hooked me up with that also hooked me up with a Maggard's alum stick or an alum block. Pretty decent size. And one thing I do, I got this hack off of Douglas Smythe. You get one of these green, scratchy kitchen sponges, cut it to the length you need it, such as so, as you can see. And just set it with the scratcher side down, sponge side up. And when you're done using your alum block, just go ahead and set it on the YouTube. Now, West Coast Shaving. Denarius Shaving Soap by Holy Coverted Tape Picture Button. Stop recording video. Sorry, button. guys. I turned on. The uh, airplane mode. Or at least I thought I did. Hey, mistakes, right? But yeah, the album's shrieking a little bit, or complaining at me a little bit, so. But yeah, not too bad actually. Okay, it's done all. Anyways, I'll see y'all back here for the post. Hey, it's it's been a couple of days since I filmed what uh, the shave you guys are watching because I had some things come up. But so as you can see, I'm in need of a shave. But anyways, so this is the list of new subscribers. Got my handy dandy Victor Reader. The first two are Jim Combs of um, Jimco Shaving, Stanley the Student Shaver. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they both have channels. You can go ahead and look in my channel list and go ahead and check it out. Um, they got good stuff. Anyways, let me go ahead and let me run the rest of the names real quick. Another YouTuber, Francisco Krabari. He has like one point something K subscribers. I'm not even sure what your channel is yet, Francisco, but I'll go ahead and check it out. Dave Shaves, another YouTuber. He's got like, when I looked the other day, it was like 66 subscribers. Um, he did a series on the Heritage Razor using different blades, getting, you know, checking out the different results. Pretty good channel. Go ahead and take a look at them and see what y'all think. I believe this is John Anderson. I'm not sure. So um, if, if you are, let me know in the comments, John. But Ebrick, the Scottish YouTube. Australian. No, the Young Turks. Sorry, Turks guys. Um, don't know if he's a YouTuber or not, but Randall Hayhurst. <laughs> this is an interesting YouTube handle, Multibubba79. I forgot to see if he had a channel or not. So I'm going to have to check you, check him out to see if he does have a channel or not. I might mess this up, Tobin. Fetters. If I messed up your name, 
Um, I apologize. Uh, sometimes screen readers and, and, and voiceovers on iPhones doesn't always get it right. Anyways, that's the new subscribers. Anyways, um, like I said in the past, if you're a subscriber and I've never given you a shout out, uh, let me know or you just, you know, you want a shout out, let me know and I'll go ahead and give you one. Uh, anyways, thank you all and back to the content. Oh, before I let you back to the video, guys, uh, if you're not familiar with the student shaver, Stanley, he's up there in Canada, and right now he's having a 100 subscriber giveaway, and I guess he was saying in a video today that he has something kind of um, big planned for his 500 subscriber giveaway. So, you know, go ahead and um, I believe that the 100 subscriber giveaway, which Stanley, I'm going to go ahead and enter that. I just haven't had a chance. It's a, um, a soap, a Canadian soap for his 100 subscriber giveaway. And I guess his 500 subscriber giveaway involves a vintage razor. That's all he, all he told us. So anyways, um, so go ahead and the youtubers I mentioned go ahead and give them a look hey guys that was an absolutely beautiful shave um uh, a little down here but when it pulls in it'll be BBS um, but my cheeks wonderful upper lip great bottom lip and chin nice my head I did the first pass with the icon and then I had to do two more passes and I did those with cart style disposable. Um, I've got a little bit of a breakout. Pardon me, a little bit of a breakout on the back of my head so I didn't want to push it. But yeah, so I'm absolutely thrilled with that shave. So let's go into the close shave, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. A little bit of a sting on the noggin. There we go. And the bomb. We'll go with the Gillette gel. Absolutely great stuff. It's got a wonderful scent. I don't know, to me, it's kind of reminiscent of the edge, the blue edge foam gel. But not bad, or the edge gel, shaving foam, or shaving, yeah, edge shaving gel. But uh, yeah, I like the scent. I always did like the scent of that a lot better than, you know, the bland scent of regular shaving cream. And, which I think it'll go good with the after splash I'm going to use, which is um, Ice Blue Aqua Vella. You know, an interesting story about Aqua Velva. Um, back during the Second World War, the military had to go to Williams, which made the uh, Aqua Velva at the time. I believe it was Williams. Same ones that make the Williams, made them the Williams mug soap before it was bought out by, I think, Procter & Gamble. But, um, I think it was bought out. Don't quote me on that. But, they sat there and it's like, um, yeah, that ice blow aqua valve, uh, it's cooling down real nice. They said, um, guys, um, our sailors, 
on our ships are getting drunk on this stuff. Um, is there anything you can do or during prohibition? Yeah, it was during prohibition. You know, the military went and said, hey, look, our soldiers and sailors are getting drunk on this stuff. Is there anything you can do to go ahead and make it where they won't want to drink it? So they put um, something in it which turned it blue and made it to where the soldiers and sailors just didn't like the flavor anymore. But, um, you know, get a bunch of rowdy sailors on a U.S. ship getting drunk off of aftershave. And it's like, woohoo, yeah, not a good thing. But anyways, that's a shave. Oh, real quick. Um, this one's for you, Johan. Uh, what does God ask for when he goes into the deli and orders a ham and cheese sandwich? Wait, let me restart that. What kind of cheese does God ask for when he orders a ham and cheese at the delicatessen? Swiss. Why? Because it's a holy cheese. Anyways, guys, that's the shave. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all are doing well. Um, welcome everybody that I went ahead and mentioned. In the shout outs, um, you know, I hope you all find yourself a good time here on the channel. I hope you enjoy the channel and I look forward to interacting with each and every one of you. Anyways, along with my old, you know, uh, older subscribers, my long term, the newer subscribers that signed up pretty recently. I look forward to interacting with all of you and, uh, you know. If you got any questions, you can reach me at justlance 59 at gmail.com. Um, if you like what you watched and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Likes and comments are always appreciated. And if you do subscribe, go ahead and kick that bell and Go ahead and select all. That way you know when I release a new video. Anyways, have a good night and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.